Hello and first of all thank you very much for having a little look at this video. If you are looking at this video that means you've shown enough interest in Solid to click over to here and I want to say a massive thank you to the people so far that have shown an interest in Solid. First of all, let, myself, uh, in, well, sorry, let me introduce myself. My name's Keith Smith, I'm the lead developer for Solis, and the man behind the camera at the moment is Sandy, also one of the game developers. So, Solis, what is it? Well, I think the premise of Solis comes from kind of a, a very near future we'd like to imagine. Uh, a lot of science fiction, you know, we have stuff happening in other solar systems, which is kind of high science fiction, very exciting and very wonderful stuff. But for me personally, I kind of, I, I just like that closer future and a kind of a future that would follow the nature that humans have taken all the way through history. We know that the earth for example has a depleting resources, that's all over the media, and humankind only goes and ventures out when there is sufficient need to do this. So the premise of solace, premise of solace sorry, is that that near future is there, that there's enough of a desire and the human race has gone off. And their first port of call for space exploration is in fact our own solar system, which in itself is a very exciting and unique place. But sometimes I feel in science fiction kind of gets missed out if we jump on a step to other solar systems. So that is the world that Solace is in, the idea that humankind has gone out amongst our own solar system. And as we know with human nature and society, when it expands like it did into the New World, into the Americas, and into uh, other empire-building periods of our history, as society goes out there and expands, the decentralisation creates fractures within societies. That need and desire for independence. And it is that concept, that idea that humankind has gone out in our own solar system, colonised it, but is now starting to want their independence and fracturing them. That Solace, the game that we've created, or are starting to create, buys into. So, it is a game set in our own solar system. We wanted to use that. Uh, as you can see here from the board, one of our main features on the board, and probably part of the uniqueness of it, is this idea of a circular game board. Now, there's a few thoughts on this, um, because what we wanted to do is we wanted to get that essence of our own solar system and to simulate the way that the planets move. Now, I know one of the obvious ways, and many games have done this before, um, things like Buck Rogers, uh, the game there, they have simulated this by having the planets actually moving around the game board. However, what we felt that doesn't do is to create a correct or a, a more realistic sort of feeling of fleet movement. So although the planets might move on a game board like that, the fleets themselves are still moving in a very linear way. And this is a bit of a head shift I think maybe for players, although it's something that we found very successful in our very early playtesting. So what happens here is actually the game board is circular and it's mixed up into these rings. And as the game progresses, actually these rings move themselves. The stage of playtesting we are at at the moment is very, very early. We are looking at just trying to make sure that the core mechanics of the game work. And this video is very much an early access. Okay, there we know that there will be hiccups along our way of our development. But we felt it would be really important and good to give people a very interesting early view, uh, kind of really looking at it at the bare bones, as hopefully as this project progresses. And you can see that developing alongside with us. So, the board does move around, that's one of the, probably one of the most, the most unique things, although not the only unique thing about Solace. Possibly one that we think will set it apart from other games, and as I say, even in our early play testing, I think we've actually been quite genuinely surprised at how well that's worked, and just the interesting strategies and gay incidents that have happened in a game, much to our own amusement. So, we today are going to be play testing, so you're going to see some of this play testing happening. Uh, again, warts and all, where none of this is scripted, as you can probably tell. Um, but so we're looking at five elements that we're looking to actually test today. Um, from if you have looked at the forum post on Game Board Geek, you'll have noticed that the board is now smaller. So what we're actually doing is we've, we've got rid of our fifth ring because the board was rather large and there was some issues there with uh, marketability of the game. If people can't fit it on their kitchen table, you know, will they be able to play it? Very much a, a debatable issue, this one, I think, because I think I know some of you out there have actually sort of commented you love the idea with a large game board. So we're just testing today with a smaller game board and we've bought the stuff, the planets uh, and the asteroids and the dwarf planets in a little bit on the game board. So that's one element that we're testing today. Alongside that, what we've actually also done is we've made um, 
these two rings here actually used to be one ring, so we've just actually cut those now down into one. This is just to bring in up um, a starter game, a sort of a, a beginning of the game experience with the Earth and Mars factions. So we're actually, myself and Sandy, are going to be playing Earth and Mars in this playtest today. So we're testing that to see how that works. We're also um, looking at making the ships a little bit cheaper today. The purchase cost of the ships is another element we're play testing. We're also play testing. Um, I think potential maybe for. I think actually we're not going to. We're going to leave the defence platforms actually with Sandy today. I think we should incorporate. Um? I think we should incorporate. Yeah. Well, at least we're we're, as the yeah, as we'll, initial. We'll incorporate. Uh, we've got some concepts for um, defence platforms and battle stations, which we've. If you've looked at the rules on Game Ball Geek, they're on there, but we'll, we'll add those on in this play test because we think that could be an important element. We are also going to, uh, if anyone looked at the last thread I did from the last play test, we found the political phase worked well, but the characters were being obtained a little bit quicker than we initially anticipated. So we're actually having a slight change in mechanic there, whereby um, the population instead of the population for lobbying instead of being used every turn is going to get saved up for four turns and then used in a lobbying phase that's going to happen once every four turns to try and sort of slow that mechanic down a little bit so people aren't getting the characters quite as quickly. So I've said ship costs, I've said the board, I've said defence platforms, I've said political phase and there's something else which we're not going to play test which is slightly escaped me for the moment. Don't want to check your book. <laughs> Might double check my book, hold on. <laughs> Definitely warts and all. Oh yes, starting with some resources. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. So yeah, um, one of the issues that we've just had is this, so the beginning game experience. We're just going to experiment today with actually starting with some resources rather than starting with just the, hard, the resources that you harvest from the planet. So, um, I think what we'll do then, we'll just have a little look at the initial kind of um, setup of the game. So as you can see, here it is. Um, so, initial setup is going to be, I think I'm playing the United Nations of Earth today, which means, so the first thing that all I need to do, and I think Sandy's going to do the same in a second, I just need to put an occupation token next to Earth to show that I occupy that planet. I have the stats for Earth there. And I have to definitely do a little bit of a shout out at this point, should have done it early really for it. A massive thank you to um, Dylan, who has um, created all the uh, PDF files, um, which we've I spent a lot of time yesterday cutting out bits of tokens and things. But a massive thank you to Dylan for doing that. And um, if you have a look at our forum thread, there will be a, there's a link to, to his uh, thread where he's volunteering to very kindly make um, PMP or PDFs for print and play for people on Game Board Geek for their um, projects themselves. So a massive thank you to Dylan. Uh, you see some of those being used now. So yeah, so the token on Earth there, we've got Earth as a, the planet Earth there, the card there with the stats on. And I think that's another unique thing about this game, that the resources on the planet alter over time. You'll see that happening and again, that's in the rules. Um, so the next thing that I need to do is we're just using dice at the moment. I think potentially when we do further development, we're like looking at kind of using um, sort of wooden counters or something along those lines. But as I say, at the moment, we are just testing core mechanics. So I think we said that we'll have two minerals, two manufacturing capability, and two ice as a starting resource for each player. And then finally, and my setup, um, actually not quite finally now. See my fleet A tokens here, I will get two frigates. They get turned upside down, that's one of the features of the game. You never entirely know what's in somebody's fleet. And then the fleet marker will actually go on the planet here. Now, something that we will actually just need to get now is I think we're gonna just make a, uh, I'll have to make a quick token, so we're just testing concept for a defense platform, because one of the things that we've decided is to prevent people losing their home planets immediately having a defense platform early on. So, uh, I think we'll just stop the video there for the moment and I'll make that one and you'll be able to see the first turn when we're ready to go.